Hello and welcome. This is example 2 of how to use completing the square to solve for a quadratic equation. If you came across this video and haven't seen example 1 yet, I suggest you take a look and I'll link the video down below uh, because this example is a bit more complicated and uh, you'll understand the basic uh, concept a lot better if you have watched uh, video 1 first. Uh, but for those who have watched video 1, let's proceed. And the equation that we want to solve is 7x squared minus 12x plus 3 is equal to 0. And uh, the first thing I want to do is to rewrite this equation as 7x squared minus 12x is equal to minus 3. So I've just taken uh, 3 from both sides of the equation to end up with this here. And now I'm going to write down ax plus b squared, b all squared. The uh, perfect expansion of this uh, expression yields ax squared a squared x squared, sorry, plus 2ab x plus b squared. Okay, and I want to be able to, I want to be able to now match the coefficients of the x squared and x terms with uh, those of my original equation. So that means a squared has to be matched with 7 and 2ab has to be matched with negative 12. Okay, so that would imply that a squared is equal to 7 and uh, that means therefore a is equal to the square root of 7. I'm not too concerned about the um, positive and negative here. I'm only, um, I'll only take the positive solution. And 2ab is equal to negative 12. So that means that AB is equal to negative 6. And we know that A is equal to square root 7. So square root 7B is equal to negative 6. And therefore, B is equal to negative 6 divided by the square root of 7. Whoops the square root of 7. Just draw, a, just draw a line down this page so we can begin at the top again. Um, and that would imply that b squared is equal to 36 divided by 7. Alright, so in our expansion we have a plus b squared term, but we don't yet have it in our original uh, equation. So we're going to have to add it to both sides of our original equation. Okay, so we can rewrite our equation now as 7x squared minus 12x plus 36 on 7 is equal to minus 3 plus 36 on 7. Okay, so this left hand side of our equation now is a perfect square expansion of uh, brackets square root of 7 x minus 6 divided by the square root of 7. squared. That's equal to, I'm just going to follow this through, 
minus 3 plus 36 on 7, that actually becomes a, this term actually becomes a 21. put a common denominator through and that will result in 15 on 7. Okay so you see here that we've matched root 7 with a and minus 6 on root 7 with our term b. Okay so now all we have to do is to make x the subject and we've solved um, for uh, we solve for x, and hence found solutions of the equation. So let's do that. Um, so taking both taking square roots of both sides, we'll end up with um, root seven x minus six on root seven is equal to the square root of 15 divided by 7. And working our way through, root 7x is equal to... Uh, hang on. Um, because we've taken the square root, uh, we have to make note that it yields two solutions, a positive and a negative. Okay. So now working through, we'll have 6 divided by root 7 plus or minus, I'm going to rewrite this third as uh, root 15 divided by root 7. Okay, so finally, if we isolate x, we'll get 6 plus or minus the square root of 15 divided by 7. Okay, so we've made a common de denominator of root 7 and by, dividing, and by dividing by root 7 on both sides it will yield us just the new um, the denominator, denominator of 7. So our solution is x is equal to, our possible solutions are s is x equals to positive 6 plus root 15 on 7. I'm just going to leave it in exact form. And the other possible solution is x is equal to 6 minus root 15 on 7. Okay, so that's example two done. But as you can see, when uh, we have a more of a tricky quadratic equation to solve, um, this process is actually quite tedious, and it will be a lot quicker to use uh, the quadratic formula to solve for x. And um, in the next video, I'm going to show you how. Uh, the quadratic formula is actually derived from uh, the method of completing the square. So watch out for that one. Um, if you have any problems, uh, if you have a math question, please uh, ask me by commenting below and I'll endeavour to help you in future videos. If this video has helped you and you've learned something, please give me a like and uh, I'll see you on the next video.